noticed you drinking a giant jug of something. What's in it, may I ask? Green tea. If you don't mind, we're gonna find out the truth about the other fun factoids that we said about you going into commercial break. Um, okay. And now we're gonna guess which one is true. All right, again, I, I, I don't know anything, so. Um, I believe it's D, all of the above. It is D, all of the above. Ah! I memorized the Lee Press on Neil's commercial when I was little. I still have it put to memory. I eat cereal like candy because it's cereal is delicious. And I have a, a in my desk drawer a big bag with rice in it, and it is labeled when mom drops her cell phone in water. Not if mom drops her cell phone in water, <laughs> but it really does, it does work. work. Um, also, <clears throat> I want to hold up your beautiful book, The World Needs More Purple People. My friend Ben and I, we were sitting around the dinner table and just seeing a very polarizing political culture seep into our little kids' daily lives. And we wanted to create some language to help so that, you know, the metaphor of it, it's not secret, is that red plus blue equals purple. And we just, we didn't want any of our kids looking around seeing enemies and because uh, this is the United States, you know, so we figured out the five pillars we loved that no one could argue with, like purple, being a purple person means laughing a lot, uh, being silly, using your voice, working hard, and then also being uniquely you. So it's about like celebrating the differences and uniquenesses within each other, but also not seeing one another as enemies looking towards our fellow human beings. And my secret plan is that the adults will read it with the kids because we wrote a kid's book so that the kids could have some help, but I think it's the adults that need the majority of the help because there's so much fighting and divisiveness and I just don't want America to exist like that. With all that is out there for kids to see, we have to help make sense of it for them and guide them to being loving, unjudgmental, open-minded, open-hearted, grateful and kind and beings. I don't think guiding them means staying secretive, you know? Like we tell our kids all the time, like there's a ton of crazy crap on the internet. That's why you're not allowed to use it. It's also why you're not allowed to drive my car or drink alcohol or vote because you can't read about the propositions yet. So like there's just certain things that are meant for an older brain. And like, I just don't think, you know, pretending like the, at least this is how we do it in our family, which it's different for everyone, but we are very honest with our girls because, and they need, I think they need to know what forms hate. And in our family, we talk about the fact that it's fear. People get fearful and then they start hating. So we got to do our best to overcome those fears and remember that we are all human and we need to um, treat each other that way. Thank you for all of the stuff that you put out into the world and curate for us. Um, your children's book, The World Needs More Purple People, and your skincare line, Happy Dance, are both available right now. Kristen, it's been so fun to hang out with you and talk with you. I'm honored. Truly. I adore you. I adore you too. And we made a movie, by the way, together back in the day. Oh my God, Kristen. <laughs> Douglas. Do you no. Yes. Dougie. <laughs> Dougie, where are you? Dougie, it's your old friend, Kristen. Can you believe it? Oh, Doug. I'm just, I was so excited to have you guys reunite. <laughs>